The National Center on Addiction and Drug Abuse says as many as one in seven people over the age of 12 in the U.S. suffers with a form of addiction. This is more than the number of Americans with either heart conditions, diabetes, or cancer. And unlike these chronic illnesses, there is no current standard of medical care for recovery. Crystal Morgan is a nurse at Addiction Campus's Texas Treehouse Center. She says there is no one way to treat someone who wants to recover. Every person has led to addiction in their own personal you know, struggle. While many people don't understand why or how people become addicted, experts say the problem persists because drug addiction takes more than good intentions or a strong will to beat, as substances can change the brain in ways which can foster continued abuse. I think the idea is that people want to put addiction into a box. They want to say, you know, what works for one person you know, will work for another person. That's just absolutely not the fact. Keith Cantor is the creator of the NAMED program. His approach focuses on diet and nutrition as a way to keep cells in the body from signaling they need something they really don't. All humans have opiate receptors in their bodies. When these get stimulated, they release chemicals, and these chemicals give our body urges. Cantor says his program helps patients lessen their relapse chances. He adds the people on his program need one important quality to become successful. They have to want to be healthier. They have to want to uh, work out more if, if they're out of shape. They have to want to eat better if they're not eating well. And if they have that desire, then talking with the therapist, working with the nutritionist, and following the menu plan, they'll have a much higher rate. Morgan says at addiction campuses, approaching the body as a whole is a key to their treatment. We feel like there's not just one specific thing that is going to lead them to recovery. Um, it's more um, all the techniques and all the tools that we can give them um, and the co complete picture is what's going to guide them in the most positive direction. Research shows addiction can be considered a chronic disease, so once people become substance abuse free, staying that way becomes a lifelong challenge. In Atlanta, Jonathan Sari, Fox News.